What's up, everyone? September Gala, the Reverend of the Revolution, bringing a really short message here. And my message is a rant today. Earlier this week, and I don't know, and not, it's obviously on me, and I'll take that and I'll own it. I had some people reach out to me. They're like, oh, September, I want to change my life. September, I want to change my life. I want more money. I want to build my team. I want to lose weight. I want to change the world. And we have the conversation, we talk about why, right? What do you really want? Why do you really want it? Where are you currently at? So we can establish this path from point A to point B. But here's the thing, that this is, and this is what just what gets me. People cry on the phone. Oh, I want to change. I want to change. I want out. And I'm like, do you want out of where you're at? Like, do you want out? I want out. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being highly committed, Two not. What are you on? I'm a 10. And everyone says they're a 10. Like 99.999% of the people say, I'm a 10. And guess what? Here's the reason why people don't get what they want. Here's the reason why people struggle. And here's the reason why they don't ever get the goals they want to achieve. Because you're liars. We are a generation of liars. We lie. Oh, so tell me, I've been, I've been doing my, I've been doing everything I need to do, and nothing's working. And they go into victim mode. I've been doing everything. I'm just not selling. I've been doing everything. I'm just not building and recruiting and getting my customers. I'm just not seeing results. And I'm like, Qu quit lying. No, you're not. The fact is this. That's really simple. I work with tens. The people I coach with and work with my coaches, they work with tens. Tens don't screw around. So there's tens and twos. Twos screw around. They say one thing and then they do another. They lack integrity. And then they convince themselves and lie to themselves. And when I say lie, I'm not talking about like going out and frauding old women and old men and being like completely dishonest where you're just blatantly lying like robbing a bank. I didn't rob the bank when you robbed the bank. I'm talking about the little lies that we tell ourselves. We convince ourselves that we are doing everything possible when in fact, we're not. So I work with tens and this is my declaration. I am sick and tired of these bull crap twos pretending to be tens saying, I want in, I want in, I want the program, I want the coach and I want the, the give me the map, give me the coaching, Satema. And then when it's time to pony up, their commitment level, oh, I, I, I'm good. Oh, you're good when just a few days ago you were bawling your eyes out on the phone to me telling me how bad you wanted to give your wife more, how bad that you were ready to give your children more, how badly you wanted to create more in your life. When all the while now, your little lizard brain getting all weak, being a big freaking liar. Notice, just notice that. Notice how you occur to yourself. Just notice that you're the person who says, I'm going to do it, and they don't. You're the person who knows that you're a liar. And this is for all of us. When I joined some of my coaches seven months ago, I was like, I'm a 10. I wasn't a 10. I thought I was. And there's times when I have been. See, being a 10 it means you don't screw around. You don't just flap your mouth and talk. Being a 10 means I will fulfill. And being a 10 yesterday doesn't mean you're going to be a 10 today. Just because you were a 10 for a week straight, like a month ago after your weekend conference, woohoo, I'm a 10. Being a 10 means you commit every single day. Sometimes you need to recommit every single hour. Like I'm tired of people, give me the water, of, give, me the, give me the prize, Satima. So here's my declaration. I'm done. I'm done messing around with twos, trying to get twos to become tens. And oh, I know it's it's on me. It's completely on me. No one else is for. I'll take it. I'll own it. Here's my question for you. Are you a 10 or are you a two? And I don't care what you were a week ago. I don't care what you were in 2008. I don't care. It doesn't matter what you were 15 years ago. It doesn't even matter what you were yesterday. The only thing that matters is today. Are you a 10 or a 2? Because this is who I am and how I operate. I work with 10s. My coaches only work with 10s. Because 10s don't screw around. 
Twos lie. Twos screw around. So here's some cold hard truth for you. Where are you? Are you going to continue to lie about who you are and where you are and how good your life really is? And if it is, great. Great. Awesome. And you're a 10. You're getting stuff done. But if you're walking around with that pity victim story, oh, nothing's getting done. Why am I not making money? How come my business isn't going? How come my marriage isn't great? It's because you're sitting at the bottom of the mountain saying you're a 10 while other people are climbing to the top who are actually 10s. So can you tell them a little bit fired up about all the BS people out there that say they're 10s and they're really 2s that make commitments and don't fulfill? And then, and then, and then they contract. They just freaking contract. Go back with, oh, I'm good. I, I, I don't need any help. Stay where you are. Stay in the level of where twos live. I'm going to the top of the mountain. The people, my mentors, my coaches, my regionals, my managers from Vivin, those guys are tens. My coaches are tens. This is Satem Ali, the Reverend of the Revolution, bringing the heat from the heaven to your heart because where your heart is is where your treasure is. Reminding you that if you want to create a life that you absolutely love, it requires, not expect, not expect, ex, uh, expectations, or not expect, but it requires you to get into a relentless pursuit with the ruthless commitment to be a 10 every single day in your marriage, in your body, in your spirituality, and in your business. Go pay the piper today and be a 10. Quit being a two. And if and there's some days you want to be a two, that's fine. You can sit on the couch, eat bonbons. There's days where I'm like, dude, I just want to watch some reruns, eat some bonbons, and watch. Yeah, yeah hello. You complete me. I mean, that's fine. There's going to be days like that. But don't lie about it. Certainly don't be a freaking liar about it. Go pay the piper. I love you. I'm out.